All right, here's our two page spread for today. This is from farm to factory acetate uh, print. So fun from farm to factory. She's an image from World War II, uh, the time when women were asked to leave and join the workforce. Uh, leave their, their homes. And they did. They're amazing. All right, I'm going to prepare a two-page spread uh, with underpants. These pages are already sturdy. If yours are not sturdy, then glue three or four pages together so that they are. I am working in the center of a signature, so it's nice and strong. And I have some old book text. I will be covering these pages with underpants and Mod Podge. I'll keep a bit of a gap in the underpants around the gutter. All right, the last of the yummy underpants are going on right now. I'm going to let this dry. So after my pages are dry, I'm going to bring in some clear gesso. Sometimes the Mod Podge has a little bit of a, a resistance to it for the paints to go on to. So the clear gesso gives it an even bite. And we'll let that dry. Okay, I have been playing on my jelly plate. It's got lots of leftover goodies on it. I'm sure they will come up and I'm okay with that. I'm bringing in yellow and a gold, an Indian yellow hue. So. Bring in my brayer. Bring in one of my gessoed pages. I think it'd be better to put the jelly plate on the page than the page on the jelly plate. <laughs> A lot of lumps and bumps to play with here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, yellow and the gold. Since I'm putting the jelly print on the pages, I'm taking that plastic off the back. That'll be better. A little bit of blue. Bring in some water.
nice and watery. Here we go. On the top here. On the top here. Some raw umber. And some yellow green. Why not? Still have gold on my brayer. That's fine. Beautiful. Let those dry. I'm going to bring in some Payne's Gray acrylic. Really water that down. Just make a glaze with it. And we'll let that dry. We'll bring out a little bit of red. A little bit of yellow. Beautiful. And we'll let that dry. So I'd like to see a little bit more blue up in the sky. So I have some blue and some white, kind of swirly, and gently touch the sky. I 
and let that dry. All right, I found an image on the internet that I liked. This is a woman uh, during World War II. Took it to my uh, laser printer. I did increase it 150%, so she's a bit larger, which I like that. And then I printed her on an acetate sheet, and she is going to go on here either way, because she's going to flip from one side to the other. That's good. This side's good. And now we will embellish the background. <laughs> 